This video is on Virtual Machine Sprawl Avoidance and VM Escape Protection. Virtualization is the process of running virtual instance of a computer system in a layer separate from the actual hardware. What this allows users to do is create and use multiple machines that share a single physical instance of any resource. Virtual machine or virtual router are examples. A virtual machine is just a representation of a real computer. This is done using a software or hardware called hypervisor. It allows you to create multiple virtual machines within one hardware. A virtual machine software is capable of running programs and operating systems, storing data, connecting to networks, and performing other computing functions like real machine. Now, a virtual machine sprawl or virtualization sprawl is the phenomenon which occurs when the number of virtual machines connected to the network exceeds the network's capabilities. Basically, the point when an administrator can no longer effectively control and manage all the virtual machines on a network. This happens with rapidly growing networks due to growing requirements. For example, a testing department asking for multiple VMs with specific requirements that constantly changes because they want to test out numerous products. However, having too many VMs with some not being utilized or underutilized means that the network loses efficiency. Most of the time, it's because VMs are not configured for optimization, which reduces the benefit of virtualization. This causes numerous issues like cost issues because they're taking up licenses for OS and applications, as well as power and manpower. One of the reasons why this exists is freedom of provision instances, because they lack proper implemented policies regarding provisioning. To avoid many negative impacts of VM Spro, it's important to implement management practices that gives you VM Spro control. You're not going to eliminate Spro completely because you're going to need to create VMs for different reasons, but with proper VM management, you can use VMs without being negatively impacted by Spro. You can do things like perform audits, simply create a script to compare inventory to on disk contents and find any machines that are not mapped to a hypervisor to identify what is active or not. You can check for idle VMs with high cost stop percentages due to scheduling contention. Once identified, you can make decision on whether they should be repurposed, have their provision reduced or shut down. You can clean up orphan snapshots, use good naming conventions to know who to contact, archive properly, clean up junk, establish processes and standards, and much more. VM sprawl is a problem, but by implementing best practices and using VM management tool, you can make the most efficient use of your resources. Next, we have VM escape. This is a vulnerability in which a code on a VM can make the guest operating system of VM to break out and interact with the host operating systems directly. Virtual machines in a host system should be isolated from each other and should run independently of each other. But using VM escape, attackers can break the security mechanism and control the host operating system, as well as hypervisor and even hardware from a VM. This is a critical issue because they could potentially access all other virtual environments. From directory traversal to 64-bit PV guest privilege escalation vulnerability, one can easily take advantage of poorly configured environment and escape. In order to minimize VM escape, one must update software and only install and configure it to use the features it only needs, meaning keep it to a minimum level since each program has its own vulnerabilities. Oh, yeah.